Okay guys, welcome to this video looking at exam style questions for GCSE Maths. The first few slides I want to say are for the foundation tier, but I think all of these this year is appropriate for the foundation tier, GCSE 9 to 1 Maths, and also the higher tier as well, okay, and it's also appropriate for Key Stage 3 Maths. We're going to start with question number one. Complete this statement. Seven centimetres is how many millimetres? Well, centimetres to millimetres, I times it by 10. So 7 times 10, I just add a zero on at the end. So 7 centimetres is equivalent, i.e. the same as 70 millimetres. This is question number two, guys. Complete this statement. 75 miles is how many kilometres? Well, five miles is approximately eight kilometres. So five times 15 is 75. Therefore, eight times 15 will tell me the number of kilometres. Okay, so let's work it out. Eight fifteens. Well, eight times five is 40. So zero carry the four. 1 times 8 is 8, add the 4 is 12, so it's 120 kilometres. Okay, this is question number 3, guys. Calculate the perimeter of the rectangle measuring 8 centimetres width and the height is equal to 6. Well, I've got to work out the slanted height, so I've got to use Pythagoras, okay, to work out this slanted height. This half of it will be equal to 4. Okay, the hypotenuse is going to be 6 squared plus 4 squared square rooted. So I'm going to have the square root of 52, I believe. Because 6 squared is 36. Okay, plus 4 squared. Okay, and then we've got obviously square root that. Okay. 36 plus 40, uh, 16 is equal to 52, okay? That's also going to mean that this is going to be root 52. So the perimeter, guys, is the distance around the shape. So it's 8 centimetres plus root 52 plus root 52. So it's 8 plus 2. 2 root 52, which I can put into my calculator and it will give me a numerical answer. But I'm going to leave it like that for the purposes of being exact, okay? That's equal to the perimeter. Question number four, cal calculate the area of the shape. Well, it's a triangle, so it's base times height divided by 2. So it's 8 times 6 divided by 2, 8 times 6 is 48, divided by 2 is 24, and it's 24 centimetres squared, okay, that's the units for area. Now for perimeter, it's going to be centimetres, okay, so it's 8, oops, 8 plus 2 root 52, because it's 8 plus root 52, plus root 52. Now, root 52 plus root 52 is the same as saying two lots of root 52. Okay. Which I can simplify the third, but we will leave it like that for our purposes. But you would enter that in your calculator and round your answer to two decimal places. Okay. This is question number five, guys. The ratio of red to blue counters is nine to four. What fraction of the counters are blue? Well, red to blue is nine to four. So blue is going to be four out of a total of 13. Okay, because nine plus four is 13. Okay, so the fraction that are blue, it's four out of 13. Okay, right guys, we are now looking at a, a different set of questions now, pre predominantly aimed for the foundation tier, but again, it might be appropriate for the higher tier as well, revisiting this. This is question number one. Simplify 4a plus 4b minus a minus 3b. Well, collecting like terms, 4a take away a is 3a. 
and 4b take away 3b is just equal to plus 1b or plus b. Okay, next one, question number two, expand this single bracket. Well, 12 times 6 is 48. 12 times negative 7x is equal to minus 84x. Okay, because a positive times a negative is a negative. Okay, oops, sorry about my handwriting, guys, I do apologise, okay. Minus 84x. No, it shouldn't be. Okay. The next one, 35 times 39. Well, that's just multiplying numbers to two digit by two digit. Okay. Five nines are 45. Five carry the four. Nine times three is 27. And the four is 31. Put the zero there. Three fives are fifteen. Five carry the one. Three threes are nine. Add the one is equal to ten. Now do my column addition. Five plus zero is five. One plus five is six. Three plus nothing is three. And nothing plus one is one. So the answer is one thousand three hundred and sixty-five. Okay, again, I've seen these questions appear all the time on Edexcel Foundation tier and AQA Foundation tier. And I've also seen them appear on the OCR, okay, occasionally. But they do appear on the Foundation tier papers. Okay, question number four. Complete 116 millimetres equals how many centimetres? Well, divide it by 10. So hop the decimal point in, it's 11.6 centimetres. Okay. Next question, guys. Work out a half of 272 pounds. Well, it's a fraction of an amount. So divide by the bottom times by the top. Okay. So 272 divided by 2. So using bus stop. Okay. So how many 2s go into 2? Well, it's going to be 1. Remainder nothing. How many 2s go into 7? It's 3. Remainder 1. 2s into 12 is going to be 6. So the answer is £136. Okay, next question. Work out £6.49 at 30p. Well, I'm only going 30p to the 49 pence. So it's £6.79. pence. Okay. The next question. Work out £60.25 minus £36.25. And 25 pence. Well, 25 pence take away 12 actually, that's going to be zero. So I'm doing 60 take away 36. Well, 60 take away 30 is 30 minus the six pound becomes 24 pounds. Okay, so it's subtracting money. Okay, if you're unhappy with that, feel free to go ahead and use the column addition. Okay, this is question number eight, guys. Y equals 11x plus 1, find the value of y when x is minus 2. Well, substituting in x equals minus 2, 11 lots of minus 2 is minus 22, plus 1 is minus 21. Okay, so it's substituting into the formula. Next question, 0.66 times 10. We'll move the decimal point one place to the right, so the answer is 6.6. Okay. Final question, actually, for this section. X divided by 7 equals 11. Well, if I multiply both sides by 7, 11 times 7 is 77. So the value of X is 77. And I can check my answer by substituting it in. 77 divided by, 11, um, by 7 is indeed 11. Okay, so that's my answer. For that question okay right guys the last part for today's video so hopefully it's making sense so far complete this sum 11668 minus something equals 6719 well if i do 11668 
take away six seven one nine well eight take away nine I can't do so I'm gonna have to borrow so that becomes a five that becomes a one eighteen take away nine is nine five take away one is four six take away seven I can't do so I have to borrow from here that becomes a zero that becomes a one sixteen minus seven is nine zero take away six I can't do so I'm gonna have to exchange or borrow we say ten take away six is four so 11,668 subtract 4,949 gives me 6,719. Okay. Right, guys, next question. Work out 26.7 minus 0. 0. 0.0. 286 okay so again it's making sure that our place values are in the right place i'm going to put some zeros here as placeholders okay zero take away six i can't do so i can't borrow from there so i'm going to, have to borrow from here that becomes a six that becomes a ten borrow that again that becomes a nine that becomes a one 10 take away 6 is 4, 9 take away 8 is 1, 6 take away 2 is 4, 6 take away nothing is 6, and 2 take away nothing is 2. So the answer is equal to 26.414. Okay, so that is subtracting decimals. Okay, next question, guys. What is the highest common factor of 80 and 95? Okay, so there's a multiple different ways of getting my answer. Okay, if I decompose each number and write it as a product of prime factors, then it would tell me what number is common in both. So I'm going to have 5 here. Okay, and then I'm going to have... 16, okay, I'm going to put a 4 and a 4, and a 2 and a 2, okay, locking off the 2 and a 2 and a 5, because they are what are called prime numbers, okay, this one is going to be 5 and 19, now the only number that is common in both is actually a 5, okay, so 5 is what I call my highest common factor, it's the highest number that goes into both 80 and 95, okay, I'm just circling these other ones because I'm circling like the prime numbers essentially as well, okay, but hopefully that is making sense. Okay, so far. Okay, next question. Lowest common multiple of 15 and 12. We're well, looking at the times tables here. Okay, so looking at the times tables. Okay, and seeing the smallest number that appears in both times tables. Remember that the word multiple means times tables. So I've got 15, 30, 45... 60 and let's leave it there for a second let's look at 12 12 24 36 48 and 60 okay so 60 is the smallest number that appears in both times tables so 60 is the lowest common multiple okay Next question, work out 54.1 times 1,000, well, 54.1 times 10 is 541, and then adding on two more zeros, okay, gives me that, okay, this is question number 6, guys, work out 0 0.96 divided by 10,000, so I'm moving the decimal point four places to the left, so 1, 2, three four okay so it's going to be zero point zero 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 
nine, six. Because if I move it four places, I'm going to get one, two, three, four, which is 0 0.96, which is what I want. Question number seven, guys. Complete 20 millimeters equals how many centimeters? Well, the answer is two. Okay, millimeters to centimeters, I divide by 10. Okay, let's look at question number eight to work out 55.9 times 0 0.1 now times by 0 0.1 actually is the same as dividing by 10 okay because 0 0.1 is the same as saying one tenth so timesing by a tenth is the same as dividing by 10 so the answer is 5.59 okay the next one, question number nine, work out six take away four times 15 while using bid mass brackets first. Six take away four is two. Two multiplied by 15 is equal to 30. Okay, the last question for today's video, calculate a quarter of 144 pounds or divide by the bottom times by the top. 144 divided by 4 is 36. 36 times 1 is also 36. So a quarter of 144 pounds is indeed 36 pounds. Okay. Right guys, so that takes us to the end of today's video. So thank you so much for watching.